Recently, my daughter came up to me and asked what she should do with this money she had received from her grandparents. So at the age of 17, going 18, she has realized that wealth is created through generations and through compound interest and through investing. That's it from Hunter and Child Investments. I figured I'd make a video on personal finance. I've been making a lot of videos about cost savings. So you're still in the right channel. You want to save some money or look at personal finance, then this is the channel for you. So I figured I'd make a video on how to become a millionaire starting from the age of 18. I haven't done these type of videos in a while. This is a personal finance channel and a cost saving channel, so you're still in the right channel. I've been making videos about cost savings, about doing stuff yourself, fixing your car, so the cost saving is there. So I figured I'd make a video on personal finance now. It's been a while. So in this video, I want to show that uh, if you start early, you can accumulate a million dollars in net worth by the time you retire at the age of 65. So according to bank rate, save a million dollars, you can use their calculator based on their website. I'll leave the link in the description below. It's been well documented. If you start early, invest early in the stock market using different type of calculators, either from Fidelity, Bankrate, NerdWallet, or Investopedia, any of one of those, you can use their free calculator and estimate to have accumulated a million dollars by the time you retire. But we'll look at bank rates to the calculator. If you start at the age of 18 and you invest $188 per month and you'd be able to retire at 65 at one point, million dollars. The great thing about their calculator is adjusted for inflation and the average return in the stock market about 7%. Some may even say higher. Other resources have you looked at. So in this video, I want to go on four things that will help you achieve that million dollar stylus by the time you retire. So make sure you watch this video to the end and see if any of these four things can help you become a millionaire faster. So number one is the high yield savings account. So what a high yield savings account is, is they offer a high interest rate for having banking with them. So in turn, for putting money into their account, they offer an interest rate for 4% or higher on certain accounts. There's many out there. We'll go few, through a few of them and I'll leave the link in the description below for different high yield savings accounts you can look at. Now one of my personal favorites, the American Express credit card. They also have different products, including personal loans, high yield savings accounts, and of course, credit cards at different levels of the gold or the platinum. I myself have the platinum. If you leave the, use the link in the description below, you'll help support the channel at no extra cost to you if you use that link with uh, American Express Platinum. So American Express offers a 4.25% APY. So the difference of APY APR is a annual percentage yield. That means, so let's say you put $100 into your account, at the end of the year, at an APY of American Express at 4.25, you get about $42. However, the $42 will be taxed if you need, if you need to pull out. So APR is annual percentage rate. It's based on uh, the rate of borrowing. So basically, if you're borrowing a credit card, you're using to buy a house, then it's based on monthly fee of any interest that you have on a, that balance. So check, I'm not a financial advisor. I am not a tax lawyer. So make sure you check your attorney about taxes as far as investing. I'm just a guy on the internet trying to show you different ways to become a millionaire. Next, we'll talk about SoFi. SoFi also offers different products. Uh, they offer anything from student loans to mortgages to credit cards to checking and savings. Now currently, I believe they don't offer a checking account for businesses. So they do offer checking with a APY and, and a savings account APY. So it is a financial business that is uh, virtual that does not have a technically a brick and mortar building as we see as the different typical banks we see but you are able to use different ATMs that they have uh, a collaboration with at the recording of this video uh, so far it does offer a 4.6 percent APY so for having an account with them this moment with this recording they offer a $300 direct deposit it may not last that long uh, at this recording, it does say they offer th an extra $300 if you open an account with them. Before I go any further, I just want to mention that most of these uh, financial institutions do offer limitations. For example, American Express does not require any minimal deposit. I think they, they only require $1, but they don't require a direct deposit toward, toward the account to have a high yield savings account. However, on SoFi, on the other hand, you do, they do require certain deposits to be made into the account. So the way banking systems work is they take your money that you deposit into your account, they take your money and they kind of borrow it out, but at the same time, they give you interest rate back for having that money in their account. We'll talk about two more. One is Capital One. Capital One does offer a high yield savings account also at a current rate of 4.25. So these rates are about the same. 
So what you're looking for is when you're opening these accounts, you want to make sure that you are not required to make certain deposits or certain deposit activities toward your account to maintain that account active. I'm a big fan of American Express. They don't require that. However, they don't have a ATM where you can deposit money into their account. You do have to write or transfer some kind of deposit into their account. And during the recording of this video, Capital One does not require any monthly maintenance fees, nor do they require a minimum balance. The last one we'll talk about is Barclays. There's many more you can Google it, you can look through Investopedia, you can look at Forbes magazine, you can look at uh, Nerd Wallet. There's many out there that will tell you which one's which. I am not affiliated with any of those at this point. But however, American Express, I am a, a big uh, proponent of them. So use the link in the description below if you decide to sign up for American Express Platinum. So Barclay offers a 4.35% APY. Same thing, they have uh, no minimum balances to be open and no monthly maintenance to be had. Number two is to become a millionaire starting at the age of 18, you wanna invest in the market. Because my daughter's 18, she doesn't have a job, she's currently a student, you're not able to contribute to a 401k 403 plan. However, you are able to create a custodial 401k plan till she has income coming in. If you don't know, 403 and 401k are just labels or tax codes that we label retirement plans. They're both individual retirement plans, IRAs, individual retirement accounts. So a 403 would be somebody that works in healthcare or a teacher. And then 401k is somebody that works in corporate. And sometimes they intertwine. You may have one or the other in the same uh, business entity. Again, I'm not a tax accountant. I'm not a uh, business lawyer. So make sure you check with your tax attorneys for how you can open a custodial 401k. You're able to contribute money into that account. Take this as a grain of salt. And this is what I've done in my research that you can not open a custodial Roth 401k, which means you can use post-tax dollars. That means the money you get from your check, you take that money and you can invest it for her into a custodial Roth 401k. So the difference in Roth is that you take use after-tax dollars to invest in the stock market. You can open a custodial 401k using your name as the parent, and then your child becomes a beneficiary. Number three is spend less. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments in, in this section, in this part of the video. If you just spend less on going out, going to dinner, going to the movies, going shopping, buy unnecessary things, then you achieve that millionaire status faster. So figure out ways you can cut costs by watching this channel and spending less is the only way you can get to financial freedom and become a millionaire by the time you retire at the age of 65. Don't go buy a new car, buy a used car that's reliable. Don't get the newest, the latest new iPhone just because it came out. In the phone I'm recording right now, it's still the iPhone 12. It does okay. Eventually down the road when it hits a thousand subscribers, we'll get a new camera. We'll make this uh, channel a little bit better every day. So think of ways that you can spend money less, either not going out to eat as much, not getting that iced coffee. I know it's hot right now. It's I think it's hitting a heat wave in the Northeast. Staying cool, being wise, instead of going to the movies, paying for a ticket, just go walk around the mall. That way you stay cool. Or if you're cold, then go hang out in the laundromat. I've done that before when I was teenage years. That's another story for another day. And last but not least, pay off debt. Now let me uh, premise this saying that the beginning of this video we talked about investing, but you don't, my advice is, and I'm just a guy on YouTube, my advice is don't invest if you got a 21%, 25% interest rate on a credit card. Because when you invest in the stock market, or even having a high yield savings account at 5%, investing yields about 4 percent on a high yield savings account and anywhere from seven to ten percent depending on who you ask on the stock market returns but if you had a credit card that's at 25 percent 21 percent 15 percent it makes no sense to invest in the stock market or high yield savings account if you had all this debt so this circles back around if you start when you were young and you don't have any debt yet at the age of 18 you should not have any debt at this point so it's wise to start investing now where you have no responsibilities you're not paying for housing you're not paying for car insurance you're not paying for health care because you're a student you're still going to school everything's covered under your parents name so this is the right choice to start investing and stay away from debt at least until you're in your professional career all right i hope you enjoyed this week's video so i wanted to make a video about, about personal finance i know a lot of you have joined this channel because it's a personal finance channel, but also it's a cost savings channel. Uh, basically, it has anything that has to deal with money through health insurance. We talked about 
in my other video about HMOs, PPOs, you can check that video out. How to save money on your car insurance for teenagers or even what car insurance companies don't tell you. And even how to fix new cars that doesn't require much, just being handy and the knowledge and know-how to be brave enough to try it. Again, I thank you so much for watching this video, subscribing and staying tuned every single week. Listen, you're watching these videos because you believe personal finance is achievable. And I appreciate every single one of you watching these videos and I'll see you in the next one.